Hey growers, my name's Lucas. I've been growing peppers for years and I've had some pretty good success. And I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is fertilizing it incorrectly. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps I use to fertilize my pepper plants for huge crops of spicy pods. So come on, let me show you how it's done. My method of fertilizing peppers is stupid simple. I use water soluble fertilizer and here is the secret. Three numbers, NPK, these numbers represent the ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in your fertilizer. And the great thing is, you don't have to be a chemistry major to figure this stuff out. Nitrogen's great for leaf growth, phosphorus is good for root and flower development, and potassium is kind of an all around plant booster. It helps with pretty much everything. The secret for fertilizing peppers for success is very, very, very simple. Keep your nitrogen lower than your phosphorus and potassium. The brand you use doesn't matter. I prefer water soluble fertilizers because they're fast acting. But in this particular case, I'm gonna be using Bloom Booster 153015. This means that it has 30% phosphorus, 15% nitrogen, and 15% potassium. One of the biggest mistakes I see pepper growers making all the time is that they put on too much nitrogen. Nitrogen is important for leaf growth, don't get me wrong, but if you put it on in higher quantities than your potassium and your phosphorus, you will see massive lush plants at the expense of pod production. So this is why this bloom booster is really good. You can also use something like a 10-10-10 or a 10-10-20 just anything that doesn't have that first number higher than the other two. As far as the concentration goes, just follow your package. It'll tell you everything you need to know. I would err on the side of caution with the water solubles and go with a little less solute to a little more water, just so that you don't burn your plants. But in this case, what I like to do with the miracle Grow is take one tablespoon, pop it into this really pink watering can here, so one tablespoon to two gallons of water and you'll be all set. Okay, so once you've got your fertilizer solution all mixed up, ready to go, it's simply a matter of just watering your pepper plants. So these hot peppers right here are a variety called Hot Paper Lantern. They're a habanero and I've grown them in the past. Uh, they're really productive and if you like habaneros, they're definitely a good choice, especially if you live in a northern climate like me. Okay guys, so by now you're probably wondering, how often do I have to fertilize? That's a great question. And for me personally, I like to go with once a week, and I find that does really well for my peppers. You can do it once every two weeks, uh, even with every water. So if you water multiple times a week, just change the strength of your fertilizer solution. And again, I'd highly recommend you consult the packaging because different water soluble fertilizers will have different uh, requirements as far as how much water you need to mix in, how concentrated they should be. And the last thing you wanna do is burn your plants. So again, always err on the side of caution. So in my opinion, this is probably the best method of fertilizing peppers. I've had some pretty amazing success with this method and I think you will too. It's just really important to recognize that the ratios are so critical. I just wanna note that while it is important to have a great fertilizer regimen for your peppers, it's equally as important to start off with a good soil base. So at the beginning of the season, before you get planted, mix in some compost, mix in some bone meal, some different amendments so that you get that nice structure that you're looking for, and then use that fertilizer to supplement throughout the season rather than just as a quick fix for poor soil. So I hope that gave you some good insight in how to fertilize your hot peppers for top production. I know what I'm talking about because I've done this with great success over the past almost decade now. And uh, I think that if you follow this method, you will too. If you're interested in growing Carolina Reapers, the former world's hottest pepper, check out my video. I'll post it right here, right now. Link is also down below in the description. I think you'll find it really useful if you're trying to grow some ghost peppers or Carolina Reapers or just any super hot pepper in general. With that said, hi, my name's Lucas. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna get in and have a bath because I'm extremely muddy right now. 
and I just ruined my shirt. Hope you have a good day. Bye.